Well, let's just talk about this corona expert, Eric Toner, who says that Americans are going to be wearing masks for years to come. I don't think so. Before I get into that, guys, I got to get this out of the way because people always ask me, why do you wear these ridiculous sunglasses? I wear them because I am blind and I do not have sight privilege like all of you fine people. It is true. So there you go. Now, please give the video here a like, share it across all of your platforms. Subscribe here if you are new. Click the bell to enable notifications. Hopefully you'll get some, but YouTube doesn't put out many more because they don't like what I talk about here on this channel. But guys, also where you can really help me out is over on Patreon. You can sign up for as little as just $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. Link right down in the description below. Just takes a couple minutes to sign up. Not only do you help me out, you throw a couple bucks my way, especially now with YouTube demonetizing the majority of these videos. But you also get all my exclusive bonus content. I talk a lot more about sensitive information over there. And unlike YouTube, you will always get alerts and notifications for anything that goes up on the Patreon platform. So I appreciate your guys' help with that. Thank you so much for the donations and supporting me here at the channel. Now let's talk about this. Like I said, this guy Eric Toner, uh, you know, senior scholar over at Johns Hopkins, uh, claims to be a corona expert, has said uh, in a recent report that in fact Americans should expect to be living with masks for several years to come because he doesn't see this whole thing ending any time soon. But not only did he say that we would be wearing masks, and I like to kind of pick out little things that I read uh, and, and hear because I, I think a lot of times they get glossed over. So I like to bring it to the forefront and then kind of compare it to Bible prophecy. But he said, not only will we be wearing masks for years to come, but hopefully happily living with them as well. Wearing masks and happily wearing those masks, covering our faces keeping everybody safe for years to come because the mask is the best line of defense. It's not. And I've, <laughs> I've said this before. I've gone on rants. The mask is not the best defense for anything. And any sort of sickness or disease that you may have, your best line of defense is the word of God. Your best line of defense is Jesus Christ. But they're not going to say that. Are you kidding me? That's the last thing they want to do is mention his name. Why would they want to do that? They want to control you. Happily wearing the masks? They want you to... They want you to enjoy it. You, you notice people, too, are getting angry. Like you hear people, I, I've seen this in interviews, where they're actually saying, will you just wear the, you know, de-mask already? I'm not going to say the word. Will you just wear the de-mask already? Why won't you just wear the D thing? They're angry. Because why? You're not complying. Because you're not complying, they're getting angry. And you know what that's going to turn into? That's going to turn into eventually them rounding people up. If you don't comply, if you don't obey all these orders that are going out there right now, demanding that American citizens put these masks on. You know, there's only four states right now that actually do not have mask mandates. Only four. That's right. I believe it's uh, Montana, South Dakota, Iowa, and Wisconsin are the only four states right now that actually don't require the other 46. All do, at least in some, at least in some counties and cities, maybe not the whole state. But this is, this is insane. This is all a dress rehearsal for the Mark of the Beast because they want you to be happy wearing the mask. They're going to want you to be happy with your chip that you're going to have to take in your right hand or in your forehead. So they want to get you ready right now with the masks. So that way when the vaccine comes out, when that comes out, they're going to somehow, and I believe this, they're going to attach this to the Mark of the Beast. They want to collapse the economy, shut the businesses down. All of a sudden, you know, our dollar is worth nothing. We're, you know, we're running out of coins, everything like that. The National Reserve is saying, well, when that happens, oh, well, you know what? We need to go to a whole new currency. Let's just go to a global one world currency. How easy is that going to be? You get the people vaccinated. You get them with the chip. This is now how you buy or sell. Do you guys see we're living in the last days? It's all coming to pass. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to be ready, prepare our hearts. Because we're going home soon. We're going home soon. I'll put more information down below in the description. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.